So I want to talk a little bit more about cardiac muscle and smooth muscle. Cardiac muscle especially will be brief, um, and most of this will not be new information. We've talked about this before. Um, yeah, so cardiac muscle is different than skeletal muscle. Uh, you know this already. Skeletal muscle we've talked in detail about, um, voluntary and striated and most of your muscles in your body that you, you think about. So again, voluntary somatic nervous system are your skeletal muscles. Cardiac muscles are um, branched and still striated and in the heart, in case that wasn't clear. Um, and they're involuntary. So they are you know, now this new, this other term, they are stimulated by the autonomic nervous system. Um, and something pretty cool about them, they are actually controlled by cells within the heart tissue itself. So pacemaker cells. So they do not require nervous system input to contract. Um, so pacemaker cells are kind of a key feature of them specialized cardiac cells. Um, but then their activity can be modulated by the autonomic nervous system. And we'll see this when we get to the autonomic nervous system. That's the ANS, autonomic, I'll try to write it all out, autonomic. So this means that without thinking about it, um, our bodies increase or decrease heart rate. And you probably know this when you get stressed out, um, kind of stimulated um, or exercising, that is your sympathetic nervous system that's going to increase heart rate. If you're sleeping, if you're mindful, um, just lying down, that will decrease heart rate. That's the ANS contributing to the heart rate. Um, the other feature of cardiac muscle we've already talked about is these intercalated discs. These are a type of gap, gap junction that are connected um, by a couple different types of cell junctions, but contain gap junctions that allow electrical signals to pass very quickly from one cell to the other. This means along with the fact that there is um, sustained depolarizations so you know your cardiac muscle depolarizes. Cardiac muscle has long depolarizations. It's prolonged, it's due to a calcium effect. So this is going to result in a longer contraction, the actual tension than skeletal muscle. So this fact, along with the gap junctions, means that the heart muscle tends to contract as a whole unit and not be able to contract in between those big contractions. Very helpful. We want our heart to pump blood all at one time. If we have uncoordinated contractions, so contractions happening in this part of the, um, I'm actually doing this part of the, of the muscle at a different time than this part and this part, that's fibrillation. So a heart attack. Um, where we have uncoordinated, uncontrolled um, depolarizations. So that's the heart muscle. A little bit that's new, um, we'll see cardiac muscle in the autonomic nervous system, but we won't talk about it in a ton of detail this fall.